The history of India is an extraordinary journey, and I'm going to set the context by just highlighting two quotations and two statements made by visitors to India over a long, long period of time. So we have, going back into antiquity, in the early 1600s, a representative of the King of England was sent to the court of Jahangir, and he recorded on his return what an extraordinary civilization he had visited. The people were of such high morals, and the presence of incredible architecture he recorded in detail. To set the stage in 1600s in Britain, we had a, a phrase, baby thrown out with the bathwater. You may have come across that. And that refers to the setting at the time where homes had thatched roofs. And the children, they used to bathe last in the family. So the father in the family would have his bath, the water would be used for the next, and so on right the way down the line until the baby would be the last person bathed. And so it became a common saying that, please be careful, don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Um, that was also the time when in England, civilization was such that um, the roofs were thatched and pets, dogs and cats, would often take up residence in thatched roofs. But when it rained, the roofs would collapse and so dogs and cats would fall, and so they would describe it as, it's raining cats and dogs. And the visitor to India found a civilization where the architecture was absolutely extraordinary, something that he had never expected and encountered in the 1600s. If we fast forward, we had a lot of other visitors to India, and I'm going to fast forward very rapidly to 1908, which is just over 100 years ago, where Charles Hall, who was the president of the Unitarians in America, he had been to India, and he said, once when I was traveling through India, I saw several small children viciously hitting another child, a little girl, trying to take something away from her. On inspection, it proved to be a lump of mud mixed with a little wheat chaff she had found in a ruin. She was carrying it away to eat, and others, made brutal by hunger, were trying to get it away from her. So over a period of two or three hundred years, the civilization and the nature of Bharat changed dramatically to where even children were reduced to an animal existence where they competed for the basest of substances for uh, survival.